it is good to be back again in today's video we are going to be talking about a very crucial topic a very vital topic all right and the topic entails buying and selling of property by couples okay it entails which method is the most suitable method for buying and selling of properties by couples so today i will start with what we refer to as co-ownership co-ownership is simply a way whereby two or more people come together to co-own a property all right so co-ownership can come in two form under the law we have the joint tenancy as well as the tenancy in common so a joint tenancy simply means a situation whereby two people come in come together to buy a property however why buying the property they, they are buying the property among between themselves and one of the key feature of joint tenancy is the 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 rule of survivorship all right or the principle of survivorship in this instance when these two persons come together to buy a property on that joint tenancy and as time goes on one person dies the property does not move to the heirs or the the the, the benefactors of the person who died or rather it moves sideways it moves to the other living party let me give an illustration Let's say, for instance, a husband and a wife, they, 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 they decide to buy a property and haven't purchased the property on that joint tenancy. Then the husband dies. The property does not just go to the children of the husband. No, but it goes sideways to, to, to the wife. All right. So that's what joint tenancy entails. And for joint tenancy to be applicable, it must cover the four unities, unity of time unity of um, possession, tie to, and so on and so forth, all right? So once all these things are present, then you can refer to a tenancy as joint tenancy, okay? Now, th the second aspect of tenancy is tenancy in common. Tenancy in common is simply a type of tenancy where there is word of severance, all right? So word of severance, it means that each party or, or each person has its own portion okay so once there's a word of severance in it an agreement it is referred to as a, a tenancy in common so words of severance can be something like shares and shares alike it can be in 60 60 percent 40 percent you know it can be in equal shares okay so let's say for instance two people wants to buy a property and um one party contributed 60 percent probably 600,000 naira. the other party contributed 400,000 naira. and in the agreement or in the document it is said that a, a, it should be sh this part should be shared um, in 60 to 40 percent so in such scenario this instance basically shows that the tenancy is a tenancy in common all right so in a tenancy in common if one party dies the beneficiaries or the benefactors of that party can inherit his own interest in that property unlike that of a joint tenants when one party dies the property shifts to the other party to the other maybe a spouse or so on and so forth okay so that's basically what a joint tenant and a tenancy in common entails now you should understand that in a tenancy in common or rather in a joint tenancy if for instance two parties who come together to buy a property under a joint tenancy and eventually one of them before he died he made a will divesting his interest in that property to his maybe his heirs his sons his daughters but do you know that even after making a will that will will not become valid because because of the rule of joint uh, of um, the principle of survivorship now there's a latin maxim in law which says that just accrescendi prefato ultimate voluntatis okay what this means is that even when there's a we in a joint tenancy the survive the the rule of survivorship takes precedence okay let me explain in 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 simple terms it means that even when one of the parties made a will divesting the properties to his um his inheritors or his benefactors it still doesn't hold water because the principle of joint tenancy is simply stating that once a party dies, the 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 the, the interest in that pro, his interest in that property shifts to
to that to the other party and not to the diseased person's um benefactors okay so that's what it entails now one very good question that people normally ask is this can a party to a joint tenancy give out or sell his own portion of or his own interest in that property is it possible of course it is possible if a husband and a wife have interest in a property and they bought that property under joint tenancy and maybe eventually they got tired of the marriage and want to seek for a dissolution of marriage or they want to go their separate ways one of the parties either the husband and the wife can sell his own portion of that property to a third party and when this happens the tenancy now moves from joint tenancy to tenancy in common all right so that's how it's done and when this happens a deed of a deed of release should be issued there should be an agreement known as a deed of release which shows that the property has been given to another party okay having said that it is pertinent to know that the most the for couples or intending couples who wish to buy properties together it's advisable that they buy their property under the figurehead known as joint tenancy this is because no one is praying for a marriage to come to an end no one is praying for um divorce nobody is praying for anything bad whatsoever however in law anything can happen and at, at times it is good to be on his first side hence the necessity the necessity of a joint tenancy agreement so for couples it is advisable that when they want to buy a property they should do that under a joint tenancy all right this is because if they want to go their separate ways there won't be any issues as regards to um you know division of the property one party can just simply sell the property without needing the consent or permission of the other party so that's where it becomes easier all right that's where it becomes easier and that is where joint tenancy is preferable for couples then as for individuals probably a group of people who want to buy um, who want to pull resources or funds together in order to acquire a particular property either a land or houses they can do that under um, tenancy in common all right stating their interest in the property and the the way it will be divided all right they can say okay this person brought 60 percent this person brought 40 percent and these are should be divided 